the reason your ancestors are important is because they help you to discover something about yourself that others won't tell you. It's a brief round, peace and blessings. This is Derek Rocco Moore. And um, in this video, I want to talk about why um, the ancestors, why you need your ancestors, okay? Um, as you all know, um, like I mentioned before, you know, ancestor veneration, ancestor um, honoring your ancestors is a very hot topic. Um, within the last, I would say, 20 years or so, um, you know, people from all over have talked about the benefits and the rewards of um, honoring your ancestors from everything from, you know, increasing your luck to, you know, increasing your finances. Um, so there, there's all different kind of benefits, all different kind of ways of, of honoring your ancestors. But I want you to understand something from a comedic perspective, you know, from if you're dealing with comedic spirituality or African spirituality, any any type of African spirituality, you know, which includes comedic spirituality, um, you you have to remember, you know, you you don't want to get lost in the sauce because. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of people. This is a a new topic to them. Okay, this is um, and, and let me let me put some clarity on that when I'm saying new. There's some individuals who are basically um, they're they're honoring their ancestors and they're making it seem like you know this is a cultural thing that they've been doing for for years. And that's not it, it. I'm not here to say if they're telling the truth or they're not. Um, but historically, you can see that might not be the case. And because that is not the case, because historically that might not be the case. When they're telling you, hey, guess what? You know, we went ahead, we honor our ancestors and this is the benefit and this and that and the other. They're looking at it from a base perspective. Or a base level perspective and they're talking about it because it's a new experience for them but for those of us like I said who are involved in African spirituality you're dealing with comedic spirituality or any of the other you know African traditions um, that's not why we honor our ancestors okay um, yes there is a benefit from going ahead and honoring your ancestors. Yes, they, they improve your luck. They, um, you know, when you honor your ancestors, um, your, your finances, your family situation, it improves. But that's not the real reason or the main reason why we honor our ancestors, okay? The real reason why we honor our ancestors is because of the importance of our ancestors is that our ancestors and spirit guides, for that matter, they help us to discover something about ourselves that other people won't tell us, okay? And, and, and this is the reason why they're so important, all right? Now, I'm going to do a contrast here, compare and contrast. When most of us were involved in our former religion or involved in Christianity, uh, Jehovah Witness, uh, you know, uh, any of those, you know, even Islam. When you're involved in these Western religions, basically, the way in which you are taught to handle a problem, the way in which you're taught to deal with the situation is basically, um, you know, if you're Catholic, you say the rosary, um, you know, your Hail Marys and so forth. Um, fundamentalist, you know, Christian, you basically, you know, you give it to Jesus and you, you just pray to Jesus about everything. Okay. Um, Jehovah witness, Jehovah is the, you know, is the one that's who you go through. Um, so all of these different Western religions, what they basically have been teaching us is you go outside of yourself. The problem with going outside yourself is that you're always going out to outside yourself for everything, okay? Um, it makes you dependent upon everyone else 
and everything else outside of you. All right? African spirituality is different from that. Comedic spirituality is different from that. You know, and, and like I said, when I'm saying African spirituality, I'm talking about Kemetic, Congo, you know, um, the Yoruba. I, I'm talking about all these spiritual systems that come from, you know, traditional Africa. They're, they teach you the opposite, all right? You're supposed to go within, all right? The divine is within you. You're trying to discover certain, you're, you're trying to discover uh, the divine within you in regards to how to solve a situation, solve a problem, all right? So when you set up an ancestor altar and you make that ancestral connection, what your ancestors are doing is they're working with you through your ancestor altar and eventually they work through you in regards to dealing with your, you know, certain altars, all right, certain di certain spirits. So as a result, you end up having a different interpretation, a different understanding, a different way of approaching things, which is all basically coming from your ancestral cultural perspective. All right. This is the reason why um, I've had people ask, well, you know, why, you know, is this the right way of doing this? Well, I can't tell you if it's right. I can't tell you if it's wrong. And the reason why is because it's not serving me. All right. Your altar basically is supposed to be a reflection of you. Your, your, all your altars, they're a reflection of who you are. They are a reflection of your consciousness, of your awareness. So there is no right or wrong in regards to how to set up an altar, how to work an altar. Let me rephrase that. The only right or wrong that I can find in regards to how, you know, in regards to your altar work, in regards to any of that is if you get the result that you want. If you get the desired result, then apparently it's working well. If you don't get the desired result, then apparently you got to go back to the lab. You got to go back and you got to, you know, put in the work to see what's going on. Okay. And this is what your ancestors are there for. This is what your ancestors and spirit guides, this is what they're doing. They're helping you to put in the work so that you can develop your own way of doing things. All right. Now, it's important that you understand that. It's important that you keep that in mind because if you don't, then what happens is you 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 basically are setting up things um, that's not going to serve you. Okay, and I mean, I hope that makes sense. You're 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 basically you're setting up an altar space, or you're setting up you know, uh, uh, you know. You're you're doing all your altar work based upon the way someone else does it, and it's again. It's the same as basically following that whole, you know, the, the your former, your birth religion, your, you know, the Christian path. It's the same as doing that because you're going to an outside source trying to find out if something works, what's going to work for you, when you should be instead going within to see if it works. Okay. Now, I understand this. This is not to say that you can't get inspiration from others, all right? Um, I'm a prime example of that. As I've mentioned to you before, um, my ancestors and my spirits, basically, they speak to me. I get messages through a lot of sound, right? A lot of messages from that way. But I also get messages, I get visuals. So whenever I'm seeing uh, certain pictures or I see, you know, if, if I see like a, someone's altar set up, it clicks in my mind something else. You know, if I see, uh, you know, uh, how an individual does a ritual, okay, it clicks in my mind as something else, <laughs> you know, and that's my way of doing things, okay, that's, that's my ma, all right, and it took me a while to go ahead and get into that, because before, as I mentioned in the first, you know, my aunt book, um, before I remember I would set up an altar, you know, with my seven glasses or my nine glasses to honor my ancestors, 
mainly because, oh, I saw, you know, someone in the Santoria community, they were doing that. You know, someone in Lukumi was doing that. Um, and, and, and well, I, I thought that was pretty cool. And that's the reason why I did it. Okay? But it didn't serve me. It didn't help me. And all it did, for the most part, is really brought in a whole lot of confusing energy. Okay? It wasn't until I actually started focusing and dealing with who I am, dealing with what I know, dealing with what I believe helps me, doing my plug and play, not so much plug and play, but my adding and subtracting type of deal of the influences on my altar space, that that's how I was like, oh, okay, now I can go ahead and I can honor my ancestors with the nine goblets, you know, the nine glasses, because I know who, I know what it represents now. I know what it symbolizes. It's a reflection of me. So you got to get into that understanding. You have to understand this is what our ancestors are about. All right. Our ancestors are not just there just to go ahead and help you, you know, help you amass wealth and help you have money and all that. That's all great and dandy. Um, our spiritual purpose, they're here to help us to discover who we are so that we can go about saving and improving our lives and improving the lives of our community and so forth and so on living our destiny living our purpose and accomplishing the goal that we have to that has been set before us so that we can move on okay so hopefully that makes sense again like i said if you got any questions or so you know feel free to drop me a line again Thanks for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Until next time, that's a poop. Peace. Just take it on. Just take it on to the house. Come on. Come on, take a look. Be strong. Be strong, take a look. Be strong. Just take it home.